Welcome back traders to Star Oasis channel. In today's video we will continue the robustness testing and last time we finished uh, the Monte Carlo phase and today we will do the backtest on additional market. So this is the same strategy that we did the previous test on and I think so but anyway it doesn't matter. So we need to go to full settings and we will enable the cross check and we will enable backtest on additional markets. And so this is our market, Euro USD, five minutes. You can do a simple uh, configuration, which is just picking the symbol and the time frame, session, commission, or you can do a detailed one where you can pick start date and end date and precision, spread, commission, slippage, and session. So let's do the simple one. So this market, same market on 30 minutes and then same market on, let's say four hours. And let's do additional market. Let's say the OZ five minutes. And let's do the Canadian with 30 minutes. And let's do another one for the hell of it. Of course, you can do as many as you like. Uh, let's do the uh, pound. And let's do hourly. Same market, 30 minutes, 4 hours. The Aussie, 5 uh, minutes. Canadian, 30 uh, minutes. And the British pound, 1 hour. Filtering is the same uh, as before. You can add filters. And the strategies will be vetted against these filters and then against the ranking filters to check if it's failed or not. And I'm not going to do filtering by now. This is a um, not a complicated, but it's, it deserves its own video. So I will do a separate video on filtering and ranking uh, alone. So for now, we'll have uh, no filters. And let's save. And we'll go to progress. And let's... Uh, start and we should have our uh, strategy in portfolio once it's done okay now that is done so this is our main strategy and then this is the portfolio so all these strategies have different colors you see here this is the main one and then the orange is the USD 30 minutes, green uh, 4 hours, and so forth. So obviously the portfolio is losing money, it doesn't matter, but now that we tested on all of them, we can see. Also you can see that two of them are profitable and then even the third one. So this is, if you hover on it, this is USD 5 minutes, and orange one, is the 30 minutes euro usd and the green one is four hours so all euro usd which is the same market just different time frames shows profit yes they are in drawdown but they show profit which is a good sign but then the other markets are not uh, as good and this is a concept in robustness but it doesn't have to work all the time you need to understand that the shorter the time frame the less likely that the strategy will work on other markets. Because each market, when you go in a shorter time frame, has, has a different characteristics. So for example, if you pick trend following, that's a holding period of six months on average, most likely it will work on many markets with different characteristics. But in this case, it's five minutes, then most likely it will not work on a different market. It can but it's not necessarily true. So this is a big subject, obviously robusting, uh, robustness testing. And the idea of this, these videos is just to teach you how to use the tool. Now here you can go uh, each, of course, each strategy separately. So, and this is the four hours, same market, five minutes, different market, 30 minutes, different market and then hourly and of course you can reverse these strategies and see if they make uh, money 
And let's go back to the portfolio. This is the backtest on additional uh, markets. Now let's do the uh, parameter permutation. The system parameter permutation, uh, I actually can show you if we go to the documentation. So this is the online documentation on system parameter permutation. This method has been uh, described by Dave Walton. And if you uh, look on YouTube, he has, I think, three videos uh, about an hour long. And he has written on the subject. There are articles about it on the web. It basically stresses the strategy and takes not the average, but the median of all the parameters. And if the strategy, the original strategy is above the median, uh, then that's good. It's a, a long subject, but basically this is one of the strongest uh, ways to find a stable strategy, which means it's robust. At the same time, it takes a long time to calculate. Let's do this uh, for our current strategy. So let's get back here and let me pick system parameter permutation, which is SPP for short. Now, the nice thing is you have no customization. So you can pick the number of tests and it's like Monte Carlo, the higher the number of tests, the more accurate the picture. The filters is what determines the strategy have passed or failed. Now this filter is for the calculation, which has nothing to do with the filters that we add. So for example, I can add, let's say the profit factor. If I want my profit factor of n sample to be greater than two, this, uh, this is the extra filter that we are used to in all these uh, methods for robustness testing. So I'm not picking this one, but these you have to pick them because this is what the SPP uh, depends on. And the uh, simple explanation for it is this. The percent of profitable optimization has to be greater than 30. The, the system will calculate 1000 iteration of this strategy by changing the parameters up and down and 30% of these uh, optimization needs to be profitable to pass. An average profit in dollars of all optimization is greater than zero. That means all of them should be profitable. Even if it's $1, that's okay. And the uniform distribution is less than five from the mean. Let's say the, the median is, is $100. Uh, sorry, the distribution is, is 100. Then you want to be uh, not more or less than 5% of that mean. And then the best optimization profit is less than one standard deviation of the average profit. You can play with these, but this is their default. And you can always return to them by just clicking the default settings. Again, this is a, I highly recommend that you read about the subject to understand how you play with these numbers to come up with your own metrics but if we're going with the default right now i'm going to click save and let's go back to progress start and we should see a new strategy pop up here okay so uh strategy is done it's failed and we know why it's failed this is the reason the red line is the median value that means Strategy Quant X calculated a, a thousand optimization profiles of the strategy, of the original strategy, and plotted the distribution. All these plots are distribution. So, for example, if these are a thousand, that means 67% almost, two standard deviation is between uh, 1,030 and let's say 2000 minus $2,000. The median value here is 
minus $1,435 in net profit frequency. And our strategy is here, the green one. So that means our strategy is, is overestimating the profit by this much. What you need is you need this strategy to be very close or even better, it's below. So that means it's, if it's below the median, then most likely it's going to perform much better in the future. For drawdown, it's the opposite. So the median drawdown is 2,731. So you want your strategy to be to have less drawdown, uh, sorry, more drawdown than the median. So in the future, it should have less. And in this case, we have already less than the median. So most likely in the future, we will have more. And the same goes for all of them. Also, you can see the profile here for different uh, metrics. So let's start with um, net profit. So this is the net profit of, of the profiles. And you can see, for example, the exit after bars around 14 and the BP cross period around 18 is not good. And you can see a surface of it where you can see here it goes down while this area is stable. And this is the top view, a 3D bar again. And this is only for net profit and you can pick anything here. Let me see. Uh, profit factor. And most of it below one and just a few is above. And that's really bad. And here, this is the median. And you can see we failed. Total optimization is 591, profitable optimization 148, and losing optimization. So we failed on the percent of profitable optimization. And we failed on the average profit, and we failed on the uniform distribution, and we failed on the best profit. So we failed on, on all of them. This is very powerful. It took uh, five minutes for this simple strategy to come up with all these calculation. And you can see why, because it's, it's very detailed and it has million data boy points probably. And, um, but it's very useful. And I wouldn't use it as the first vetting in robustness. Like I will only use this on strategies that already passed everything in my data bank and then this will be the icing on the cake again i'm just telling you how to use the tool here and not the perfect way to use it the perfect way is uh, a street on it and it's the guy uh, dave walton who wrote the uh, the research paper he was very clear on how to use it but again the defaults here are exactly what he's mentioning then you can tweak it and uh, yeah that's how it works so here you have the of course you can change all of these by the way you know this i we went over it of course you can add stats here again this is very customizable like anything else in uh, strategy context but the defaults give you the good picture which is unfortunately in this case it does not pass so as usual, I hope that was helpful. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and let other uh, traders know about this. And I will see you in the next video.